welcome everyone to Horror with Heidi. So as a bit of an impulse buy, I went out yesterday and ended up buying a new gaming chair. So I took my mom to lunch, we were walked by Staples and I thought, hey wouldn't it be cool if they were having their big chair event, which is the event once or twice a year when they put all their chairs and desks on sale. Anyways, we went in and looked around and oddly enough they actually were having their chair event. So I took it as a sign that I needed to buy the gaming chair that I've been wanting for like over a year. That guy right there. So now we're gonna unbox it and we're gonna build it together. Fun fact about me, I love building furniture. All right, they say not to open it up with box cutters, but they don't say anything about scissors. I'm being very careful. And you know what's funny? It comes with these like, Slots on the side for your hands so you can like better carry it, but you can't even get your hands in here because of the chairs in the way. So we actually have to carry it just how you carry a regular box. Left armrest. Right armrest. Here is our huge, giant ass seat, no pun intended. Like seriously, look how big this seat is. If I were to sit on it like right now, it's huge. All right, here's our backrest. Oh. All right, and there is our I don't even know what you call this. It's the, <laughs> the swivelator. I don't know what you call this. It's the starfish thing that goes on the floor. Alright, then we got our instructions, wheels, screws. Uh, this, I think that's for, I don't know what you call it, like the post that goes, connects from the swivel thing to the, under the seat. Oh yeah, and there's the shaft that connects the floor portion to the seat. Good. And there, that's the mechanism that connects the shaft to the chair, and then this is the, and that is the lever that adjusts the height. Alright, overall dimensions, 45.9 to 49.7 inches in height, 28.4 inches in width. So yeah, this is just the Staples brand gaming chair. It's like a lower tier gaming chair, but honestly, I tried the Racer brand, and I actually like this one more. Oh gosh, they actually have the scalded parts, like, split up by what step they're used in. That is so... I've never seen that before. That is so helpful. Alright, so we take our base and we add our... We take the base and we add the wheels. Alright, we got our base. Alright, then we take... Uh-oh! Oh no! I broke it! No, it's fine. Okay, we take the base and put it through these cup things. There we go. Okay, so that's our base. Now it says to start on the seat. All right, for easier installation, place seat on top of box. Hands to 10 thread all screws prior to fully tightening with the Allen wrench. All right, all right. I just have everything on my bed here. I'm using the box to put all the garbage in. Okay, so step three, open up our section, or step three section. I love that they're sectioned off. So now we're going to attach this part to the base, to underneath the seat of the chair. Alright, those are all in. That's a 
garage. Alright, then we want us to mount this to the base. Just like that. Okay, so then we attach then we attach the arms rest to the side of the base like this. Okay. So we go on, on that side. I love how everything is so shiny. Look how shiny this is. I've never had such a shiny chair. Alright, those are in. Alright, now we're going to attach our now we're going to attach the back of our chair. So yeah, I think these are like the identical screws. They just uh, split them up into steps to avoid confusion. Alright, so we're gonna attach this back here. Oh my god, I think I actually got it! I've been struggling with this, but I think I actually got it now. Oh my gosh, that was so difficult. Because you have to make this thing stay while you're trying to put the screws in on the side. And it just doesn't want to stay, it just wants to fall down on the floor. But I got it now. Anyways, this side's going to be a lot easier. Because it is now fast on this side. Okay, all right. They said not to use the Allen key before, not to use the Allen key first, but I had to. It's it's too hard to get these in on the side without the Allen key. Anyways, we're pretty much done now, so I'm just gonna go around and reinforce everything with the Allen key. That was seriously so difficult, though. Ooh, all right. I wanna see how far this reclines. Woo! Oh my God, and there's lots of room for me to put my feet up, which I like to do in these chairs. Like seriously, look how big this seat is. Look how big this seat is. It's so big. I could sit cross-legged up here if I wanted to. All right, well thank you everyone for joining me for this video. Uh, I hope you had fun watching and participating in the making of this chair. And I will see you in the next video.